et cetera, et cetera, it fades out. All right, um, this, uh, this lesson is uh, dedicated to Joshua. Um, this is Art Garfunkel's Breakaway. Well, Art Garfunkel didn't write it. Lyle and Gallagher wrote it? Um, okay, let's get into it. So, verse. Um, F, G, C, F. So that's easy. I was doing the F with my thumb in part so that I could do this, which isn't necessarily something the guitar does, but it is in there, like the bass or the keyboard or something, so I was kind of doing that. And also in the verse, which on the record doesn't have a guitar, um, but, you know, um, so I'm kind of doing something almost like the keyboard part as far as, you know, uh, picking it out, you know, some kind of... But you could strum, so you could play it. And you could play whatever F you want. Um, the intro um, uh, is F, G, C, F, F, G, A, sus to A major. So A sus 4, which is this one. First finger on the second fret of the D, second finger on the second fret of the G, and I'm using my pinky. You could also use your third finger on the third fret of the B. And then that resolves to the third finger on the second fret of the B. Okay. The other times that that point in the song happens, it's an A minor, but in the intro it's A major. So the verse is F, G, C, F, F, G, C, F, D minor 7. First finger bars the first fret on the B and the E. Second finger plays the second fret on the G. And open D to G. I was playing G like this, but you can play it like this. Now this A minor, I was doing this little move, which is kind of like what the keyboard does, kind of. Uh, so regular A minor, and then I'm sliding my first and third finger up from the first and second fret to the third and fourth fret. So there's your A sus4 to A minor. Um, the first verse just goes around that once and then goes right into sort of the chorus. The second time it repeats, and that's a, a, a solo, a keyboard solo. Um, okay, so chorus, A major 7, first finger on the first fret of the G, second finger on the second fret of the D, third finger on the second fret of the B. It's not the song you're trying to find. Okay, the next chord is a C sharp 7. Which I'm playing like this, if you know C7, like this. It's just that moved up a, a fret. So the basic C sharp 7 in this case, and you could also play C sharp 7 like this as a A7 shape bar chord, but let's talk about this for a second. First finger on the second fret of the B, second finger on the third fret of the D, third finger on the fourth fret of the A, and pinky on the fourth fret of the G. Now, the bass on the record is playing a G sharp, not a C sharp. So I was doing this. So moving my third finger from the fourth fret on the A to the fourth fret on the low E. And then the tricky thing about playing this chord is that you need to mute the A string. The A string is going to sound bad. So you want that third finger to, to lean over enough to mute the, the A string. Something else is on your mind. F sharp minor, E minor shape bar chord off the second fret, bar the second fret, third finger on the fourth fret of the A, Pinky on the fourth fret of D. B7, which I was playing as an open shape B7. First finger on the first fret of the D. Second finger on the second fret of the A. Third finger on the second fret of the G. Pinky on the second fret of the high E. You need a little space and time. Okay, so this is a funny chord that comes up a lot. It's a very 70s chord. It's like a B minor 7 over E. So bar the second fret except the low E string. Second finger on the third fret of the B, third finger on the fourth fret of the D. So this was a B minor seven, but you're gonna have the low E in there. You need a little space and time. You know, you could do it. You could do a little more like play the, just more of the tops, but that's the chord. Break away. It's not. Augmented. 
There's a couple ways you could play this. Um, it's a tricky one because of the, the um, muting. I like it sometimes to play it up here. Um, just now I was playing it here, and I think I was playing it like this. So I'll, I'll give you this. First finger on the first fret of the G, second finger on the first fret of the B, third finger on the second fret of the D. Then the thing is you have to have the A string muted. So, because you want E, E, D, G, B, but not A. Um, and not really high E either. But like I said, you can also do it here. So first finger on the first, uh, first finger on the fifth fret of the G, second finger on the sixth fret of the D, third finger on the seventh fret of the A. That's a little easier muting wise because you just have to not play these top two strings, which I'm kind of muting with my first finger. You can also do it as a bar with the first finger. So that's first finger barring the first fret on the G and the B, and second finger playing the second fret on the D, and my second finger kind of leaning over to mute the A. But that's tricky because you don't want that note, so you can do one of these bars that's like a partial bar so that you don't get the high E string. And that takes you into the, I guess I should have called that part the pre-chorus, because this is really the chorus. F sharp minor to B7, which you could play like this, but I was playing it now like this, just because it makes it such an easy change from this F sharp minor. So I'm just keeping the bar on the second fret, and I move my third finger to the fourth fret on the D, and my pinky to the fourth fret on the B. And now back to the B minor 7 on, B minor 7 over E. And then a regular A. And you could just play a regular A. I'm, I'm doing the barred version, which I'll show you why I'm doing that in a second. You could go. Uh, Cause that's the chorus. That's probably what the guitar is playing. F sharp minor, B7, B minor 7 over E, A. I was, what I was doing then to incorporate something of what the bass does is first finger barring the second fret on the D, G, and B, which frees these fingers up to do the thing that the bass does, which is. So you can go, um, yeah. And I was doing this little picking kind of thing. First chorus ends with um, and then the second chorus just keeps repeating until it fades. All right, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed that, Joshua. Have a nice day.